fucking button. You best stay fucking green. I'm telling you, you best stay fucking green. Do you fucking go red? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Oxymoron Gaming Presents Moron's Gate, a D&D 5th edition, which is more and less no longer D&D 5th edition. We've added so many rules, it's unbelievable. But it, it, it was the basis for it, so there we go. Um, so yeah, um, as is becoming tradition now, I'm going to go down the line and introduce you to the characters and the players and whatnot, and then we will do the recap from last session, and then we'll get rolling on this session. So, first in the lineup is Mr. Kraken playing Devin. Did you? Uh, I like trains. There are no trains. I'm going then. Told you this before. We're not playing ticket. <laughs> We're not playing ticket to ride. Uh -huh. I'll open up Steam and get Train Simulator out. <laughs> train Simulator, otherwise known as DLC Simulator, where the DLC just will cost you thousands and thousands of pounds. Just like every other simulator, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, derailed. It, <laughs> ha ha! Ha oh. <laughs> It took us two minutes to get to the first bad pun. Nobody You're welcome. Next up, a Monty Python reference, and then I think we're done. Um, Dinky Nobody expects the derailing <laughs> comment. Sorry. <laughs> Main weapon is fear and surprise. I'll get the coat. In fact, I'll just mute my microphone while everyone else introduces yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. I really, really need sleep. Um, <laughs> I've slept like six hours in the last week. Uh, Dinky is not with us this evening um, because he's a cat and that's what cats do. They just show it when they're as and when they fucking please. Um... Hurry isn't with us either this evening because apparently he's got children. Who knew? Um, Tatty is with us this evening, feeling a little hoarse. Uh, Tim, good evening. Yep, I'm here. Good evening. Are you feeling a little hoarse? Uh, <coughs> no, and you can't prove it. <laughs> got there in the end. Uh, next, on to our two lovely ladies for the evening. Uh, we have Sam playing Trouble. Hello. <laughs> Anything else, dear? Um, no, not <laughs> today. And we have Whist, played by the lovely Aliki. Hello. So I'm going to do the recap from last week because I really, really want to give myself some inspiration. So last week, you finished exploring the mansion as far as you were going to explore uh you had a few encounters with a few zombies nothing really over the top nothing too dangerous uh and then you decided to scarper as it were when grandmama may or may not have given Devin a slight message that she wanted something and he assumed it was the amulet that was around his neck protecting him from fire sunlight and all those bad bad things that somebody of a certain disposition probably wouldn't like to be involved with and uh, you scarpered but when you came back into the real world you have ended up in a town it looks very familiar to somewhere you've been before however it looks a damn sight newer than it did when you were last here and a damn sight smaller hmm. and as you've materialized just outside the marketplace you'll notice that all the market stores are absolutely deserted the entire town you can't see a single person you get the odd uh, curtain twitching and uh, but nothing. Nobody is out on the streets. Okay, does it appear that they've recently left the streets? Like, everybody's just dropped everything and scarped. <laughs> Who'd do such a thing? Oh, you can be responsible for the first roll of the evening. Wahoo! 
Uh, a perception or an insight or investigation? Um, so tired, oh, rubbish. I okay. On a roll. Take some of that. Oh, Ooh, good God. That's oh, that. nice. <laughs> That's your one good roll of the evening, Dunson. <laughs> okay. That's how they roll here at Moron Skate. When it doesn't really matter, they roll, they roll really, great. really well. Yeah. Um, no, uh, you can see that the streets have probably been deserted for quite some time. It looks like people very rarely are venturing out into the streets for any given reason. There's a few cart tracks around, but they seem quite solitary, and you'd think even a small town would have quite a lot of traffic going in and out of it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this has been abandoned for a while, boys and girls. Not abandoned. You can still you can see the people twitching the curtains and looking out of the curtains and whatnot. This is a market, right? Are the market stalls set up, or are they just empty? It's just the stalls. There's no nothing on yeah. the stalls. It's just okay. You yeah. know, like when you go downtown on a Sunday and you go down to the market bit, and the market bit's still there. But mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Okay. Are any of us Dwayne Dibley? <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> No, you're not. That's all right. <laughs> Dwayne Dibley. Were you, were you expecting a little bit of back to reality? Sort of yeah. going on? Possibly. A little bit. Is there a games workshop in this market square? <laughs> yeah, that that's definitely been deserted since before the rest of the town. <laughs> but there's a Wayland Games that's thriving. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Is anyone hungry? Should we start kicking down? I mean, knocking on doors. <laughs> I like Let's... that idea. Did you like to knock on some doors? There's loads of doors around. So, what are these buildings? Are they domestics or are they shops? Uh, most of the ones around the actual market square itself are different sorts of shops. The but mm. Butchers, the bakers. There's even a candlestick maker. <laughs> okay. How about a tavern? There is no. You can't see a tavern directly where you are. What? I know. I know. What sort of a town is this? There should always I be know. a tavern in sight. There's always a tavern. <laughs> okay. Oh, trust me. There, there is like three taverns in this small town, and just none of them are in the market square. <laughs> what? That makes no sense. That is prime location yeah, for a tavern. Yeah. Uh, that, that is like classic taverners, you know. Look, I want to open okay. a tavern. Where's your yeah. market? Right, tabletop in it. Okay, <laughs> the owls. <laughs> the owls are responsible for the market. Ah, uh, blame the elves. Oh, I bet there's a vegan fucking coffee shop. Oh uh, yeah, where you can get you know, uh, for, uh, a skinny soy macchiato latte. Yeah, with oh, extra favorite. avocado and lettuce. <laughs> And a small acorn just on top. <laughs> you thought it was going somewhere else. Oh, is it, else is then? it roasted? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah. Uh, yes. But yeah. Um, let, let's try and find out what 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 is going on here. Why did I do that accent? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> small aubergine. That that'll be why. Yeah. That one. Okay. Okay. Where am I? What am I doing? I'll tell you what, actually, I'm feeling quite generous. Uh oh. Makes change. So, can everybody do me a charisma roll? Oh, yes. I would oh, love to. What? Skill what? check, yeah? Save or skill? Give me a check. Oh. oh did, what the? F I guess Hang I was on. pulling a face at the time. How the fuck did I get a five? Oh. Yeah. How did I get a three? That's pathetic. How did I get a five? What's your modifier? Your modifier is three. Good. I rolled a two, man. Oh, oh my Harold. fucking god! Right. Okay. Hello. I think anybody, we to the who, anybody who rolled under 10, mm -hmm. uh -huh. nothing happens. <laughs> ah. Uh oh. Anybody who rolled over a 15, 
Leaky. Yes. Wist not only gets inspiration. Oh, yeah. For him, for him, for him. But a small child comes running at you. Kill it! No. Okay. <laughs> drops to your <laughs> drops to your feet and starts to sob. Put it out of its misery. <laughs> Fight for it. <laughs> it's wearing a Justin Bieber t No, no, no. Ah! Kill it! Kill it, kill it with fire. <laughs> Oh, so the, the small child is at your feet, starts to sob. And what's the, what's the matter, small child? He looks up at you, and with his baby blues, I'll take a card. All welled up, you know, darkened around the edges from where he's been crying. Tears flooding down his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. And through muffled cries, all you hear is, run. Oh. 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 Do the rest of the lot, do I, does everybody what? else hear that? Run. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> High five, the demon boy. <laughs> I assume this is uh, Devin doing his <laughs> I don't give a shit face. Pretty much. Just stood there, you know. Hip yeah. cocked and just, you know, one hand on the wrist going, the fuck? <laughs> well, all right, run. Where should we run? Uh, what's up there? What's down there? Across there. Run that way. As you hear the boys say run, you are surrounded by a legion of soldiers. A legion? Well, maybe not a legion. Oh, we're, we're on that episode then, are we? <laughs> so it's just the one. <laughs> Yes. Him. What? <laughs> a, a one soldier, all on his own, but he's got at all the stats of two thousand good soldiers combined. Well, he is many. His strength modifier is plus eighty-four. Jesus. Running. Ah, that's right. We've got a rogue. <laughs> Not anymore. Um. See ya. <laughs> no. So you are surrounded by uh, line upon <laughs> line of soldiers, <clears throat> and one gentleman in a rather nice. Uniform, which, um, Wist, you will probably recognize, um, <clears throat> be the same, uh, uniform that Tiberius was wearing, if you remember him from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. The town guard who had a habit of walking through walls. <laughs> um, so he, he's wearing the captain of the guard uniform. Oh, blimey. And the rest of them seem to be... They don't seem to be, like, raiders or anything like that. They're definitely a, a unified sort of force. Mm -hmm. And the gentleman at the in the front introduces himself to you all. And he says, I am Captain Aurelius, Aflaheim City Guard. And I ask you for your identification. Do you have your papers? See papers, please. No. <laughs> have I got any papers? I don't have. I uh, know, not a sausage, not a thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, rummage. He might take a sausage, but pockets. you might have to take him to the tavern for a few drinks first. Mm, um, well, that's, that's uh, you might have to. Uh, I'm just going to have a look and see if I've got. Uh, no. Did you just swear at the captain of the guard? No, I flipped him off. Nice. I love it when a character plays in character. <laughs> Trouble, you can have inspiration for that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but I take it. I take it. Mm, by your lack. Eep. <laughs> what are we doing over here? I don't know. We're casting spells. Okay, right, no, that's fine. The Tatty's changing his mindset thing. That's fine. Oh, no, I'm casting it. Oh, you're casting it? He's mm -hmm. got to make a DC 15 intelligent saving throw. <laughs> Who's the captain of the guard? Yeah. Okie dokie. 
He didn't make it. What happened? Uh, he believes we've just given him all of our papers. Ah, good. Nice. Ah, good, 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 then. Uh, thank you very much for your papers, although I am going to have to ask you to leave the streets. We are in the middle of a war. A war? A war on what? A war? A war? A war on what? What are you fighting, fighting man? But don't you know? I know nothing! I arrived here with a blank mind! So all right, all right, calm down, John Snow. Calm down. I know nothing. I was going to say Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, that's showing your age. Do excuse her. She's from Barcelona. <laughs> oh, no troubles are he, isn't he? Oh, sorry. Yes, he is, mostly. I keep forgetting this. Do you want me to prove it again? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, how do you not know about the war? Um, we've uh, been sleeping. Away, away. Shh, away. <laughs> the entire north is fractured. <laughs> the owls, the orcs, the dwarves and the humans fighting amongst themselves. <laughs> Who uh, is, uh, is the captain of the guard a human? Yeah, are they human? He appears to be humanoid, although he is wearing a full face helmet. Hmm. Okay. So they smell elf. funny. <laughs> no, I bet they're orcs or half orcs. However, half orcs. Orcs. Like that. however, orcs. due to local government funding and the fact, <laughs> fact that the diversity policy and the fact that only the MPs <laughs> and the town council has actually got a pay rise the uh, city guard are actually just wearing tin cans on their head so you can see that they all do appear to be human cool. <laughs> they're all wearing <in> colanders <laughs> they come from a long line of baldricks <laughs> with, with a ribbon tied around it just to make sure it stays on when they're marching <laughs> oh, got a, a, a ribbon that's a bit extravagant but a twine um, well, the, the the more well off ones have got a bit of ribbon. Uh, so it's it's obvious that we're in a human town, uh, well, in a human controlled town. You are, yes. And as you don't have an elf in the party, nothing terrible could happen. Yeah, we haven't even we. In fact, we we haven't got any of the warring races, have we? Nope. We got teeth thing. Well, rather than human, obviously. I'd pass for human, I imagine. Tiefling, schmiefling. <laughs> I, wa I was yeah. once. Well, yeah, I mean, you would, unless you were bearing fangs on somebody or somebody got too close and really investigated your skin, it might and just... And my, my shimmering violet eyes. Yeah, it might just look like you're one, you of, too. one of those human males oh, yeah. who likes to sit in a darkened room in the back of the tavern playing with dice all day. Listening to The Cure. Yeah. If you weren't such an evil fuck, we could be bros. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an evil fuck. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> I just misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, I don't work to my will. Um, so yeah, right. Uh we so we we you're at war. You're at war. Yeah. War. We are at war. <laughs> Is there anything we can do for a monetary compensation? No, this is very much a military matter. I wouldn't like to uh, endanger any civilians. Then we should leave town. Uh, I can't allow that. <laughs> oh. But you said you did not want to danger, endanger civilians. We're not civilians, Devin. <laughs> exactly. <We're> mercenaries. <laughs> mercenaries. <laughs> it just makes me think of, like, mercs, but they're actually birds. Mer canaries. No, we're canaries with fishy tails. <laughs> we're back Star. to Red Dwarf. <laughs> we are. We always end up back at Red Dwarf. You all think it's easy inspiration. It's not. No, no, I just like making Red Dwarf references. No, we all like making Red Dwarf references. Because everyone does Monty Python. Yeah. Well, yeah, you go with what you know. Yeah. I don't know Red Dwarf. So. <laughs> um. Banished. <laughs> It's on Netflix now. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On Netflix, please. So Pete? Is that you, Pete? Shut up. 
But they've only got series one to eight, haven't they? I don't think they've got series nine or ten. Well, they've got nod null on there. That's all that matters. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, D and D. What are we doing? <laughs> so, yeah. Devin's just being his usual nonchalant, pricky self. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't allow you to leave the town. Unfortunately, outside is kind of a battlefield. All of it. Uh, is there much blood? Tremendous amounts of blood. Can't I need a coffee. <laughs> The hills run red with the blood of our victims. Your victims? Which side are you on? The winning side. Obviously. <laughs> Devin thinks to himself so only Tatty can hear. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't hang around here all day. Got taverns to burn down. <clears throat> Right, Devin, right, Devin, <laughs> right, hurry. You were supposed to, Tatty. Um, so, yeah, the captain of the guard will point you in the direction of just over here. Oh. Over here? Oh, Where's here? I didn't see a a pig. North of your current position across the bridge. Oh, right, I was zoomed, I was tight in. Yeah, yeah. Straight past the two warehouses. Yeah. yeah. And you've got two, yeah, yeah. Li two little buildings there. And then o opposite them is a little square grey building. That little yes. square grey building has got some rather nice copper uh, like tubes and uh, pear, 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 pear. large it... stills hanging out of it. Hello. Still. Tavern, Blue my boy. Tavern. Yes, Blue Moon. Excuse me? One of the maps of fucking. You life. saw me standing alone. Well, without a drink in my hand. Oh yeah, that reminds me. By the way, a lot of this tonight is going to be fear of the mind because That's I lost good. maps and I just was not in any mood to actually fucking make them. Fine. <laughs> and I've been cool. and I've been watching a lot of crap on YouTube. It's yeah. cool. Uh, so which one? This one? This one up here, or the shiny, shiny, shiny bit one? Yeah, right. The there. one you the one you've just pinged, uh, uh, tabletop wise, is the Blue Moon Distillery, which you know. Well, you don't know because you weren't there. But if Ike was here, he'd tell you that was literally opposite the actual little tavern that you went in before. Uh, All right. right. Well then, oh, actually, Captain. I, I think I've still got that tavern map on here. Are, are we excused, Captain? <laughs> I was going to retune my headphones because they're fuzzy. Got a bit of a buzz on there. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> huh? Wow, that's weird. I don't know. Okay. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. okay. Are you mapping for us? I can put you in the tavern, actually. I... <gasps> that would be lovely. <laughs> In the tavern. Where have I got hum from? Hum. Loose I have connection, no I bet. Idea. You. I've got it as well. Ah, it's from your mic. Oh. Ah. Here we go. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Oh. Do I recognise this place? Um. Hey, look, it's my old friend, Tiberius, still hanging out <laughs> outside the walls. Lincoln's gone, he's gone. Who are these people? Oh, Kilroth. <laughs> <laughs> they came for the, the orphanage burning and then left. <gasps> that was after the orphanage burning, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was the session after. They were introduced the, 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 with the, um, the thingy. I look like a paramedic in that outfit. <laughs> Did you oh, not well. see my Facebook post? You're not allowed to call them paramedics. No? What do you call them now? Death fighters. <laughs> okay. Well, you've got crime fighters. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, crime yes, fighters, yeah. fire firefighters, fighters, death yeah, yeah. fighters. Right. 
Um, so yeah, you walk into a uh, almost desert. Well, if you want to walk into the tavern, you don't have to. Oh yes. So you walk into an almost deserted tavern, and um, by almost, I mean completely. <laughs> Is that something we said. No, it's um. Well, with the lockdown in place, not many people. Oh actually... gosh. They must be very strict about this. What is it they're afraid of? Barkeep? No? Yeah, I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to find his freaking token. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, like, so it's prepared. Don't you love it? That's cool. That's cool. Hello. You're coming on the desk. Come on. Sod it. That'll do. So you walk in and... Uh, trouble, are you actually saying barkeep as you enter? Yes, yes. Bang the hilt of my scimitar on the table a bit. <laughs> so as you say that, a gentleman walks out from one of the back rooms. Ah. Service. He looks at you all and... Seems a bit confused at first, but then drops his head and does that with his arms, you know, sort of waving oh, yeah, 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 yeah. about. Uh. And he, he says to you all, hello, hello, my <laughs> beautiful darlings, how lovely to see you all. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the proprietor and local magistrate. Oh, Lord. You can call me Crowscribe Junior. Oh. Crowscribe. Oh, yeah. Crowscribe Junior. All right. Yes, the word Crowscribe was used. I like this place already. So, <clears throat> um, anybody who's actually met Crowscribe, so that would be Tatty, Trouble and Whist. Unless, Devin, you've had any run-ins with Crowscribe in your history. Not that I haven't written it again. Uh, if you guys want to give me a history or an insight, see if you remember the name. Um, trouble, you most Are you def. kidding? <laughs> uh, sorry? Um, I haven't mentioned it, Tati. And no, you oh, haven't. You shit. haven't. The last session, you did have a long rest. And then you pretty much came out and did your thing. So you should all be rested up. Mm. Um, Whist, you, you recognise the name, but you think it's just somebody that you met in a pub somewhere. You can't really place it. You didn't spend a lot of time with Crowscribe. In fact, you only went and took him a demon head and that was about it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, but Tatty and Trouble were both sent by Crowscribe to sort of find out what you were doing in the mines some time ago. Um, so if they, they... They would be more familiar with Crowscribe as they worked for him for some time in different capacities. No. Uh, Trouble. Yeah. Are you looking directly at the gentleman? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm impressed that um, this is someone I should know. Uh, Tatty, uh, Crowscribe sort of looks at you side on and sort of just slowly goes like that. <laughs> sort, of, sort of awkward wave. Um, Trouble, you do notice that this gentleman in front of you d shares a striking resemblance to Crowscribe you met, although he's a hell of a lot younger. The one you yep. met was very gaunt. He was very straight-faced, almost skeletal in appearance. This one's a bit, a bit stockier, still mm. quite scrawny, but he's got a bit more meat on his bones. I'm going to assume it's his son. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, sneak over here. Hey, what have you got on the? What have you got on the bar then? Crowscribe Junior. 
Well, unfortunately, due to uh, a little bit of supply and demand errors, I don't have a lot to offer you. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. But what I do have to offer comes at a premium price. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I've got this here. Bottle of Blue Moon Whiskey. That I uh, <clears throat> acquired. How about we share that? Blue Moon Whiskey? Yeah. The Blue Moon Distillery's only been open a week. How good's a week old bottle of whiskey going to be? Try it. Maybe it's aged magically. <clears throat> I, don't know, I don't know anything about such things. Try it. Tasting is believing. Bring out the blue bottle. Mmm. Nice. Have you actually drunk any of the Blue Moon stuff nope. yet? No. <laughs> didn't, think, <laughs> didn't think so if you were offering to drink it. Why? Oh, no, no I'll find out. <laughs> and we're in a pub. I've got a bottle. He hasn't got any bottles. I'm telling you. <laughs> Come to an arrangement. <laughs> I'm just warning you now. The head of the Blue Moon Distillery is a dwarf. Uh, oh, is he? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I completely forgot. War. Okay, I put it away. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the, well, if you don't want it, you know, I can, you know, keep it to myself. You could always chat to Crowscribe about the war, and he could give you some more information about the war. But I mean, that would if, be if really, really cool. Yes. In fact, as you've offered him some of this whiskey, even though he thinks that it's going to be piss water, <laughs> he's going yeah. he's going to come and sit down with you. All right. Go ahead then, my dark skinned friend. Pour out I'm a couple. And he puts two little shot glasses on the table. All right. Make a handshake first. Nice. Good to meet you, Crow Scribe Jr. He places his hand. Nice, firm handshake. Yeah. yeah. And I shall pour. Here we go then. Are you pouring while you've got hold of his hand? Nope. Oh, see, that's customary in some places. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't know that. In in the real world. I don't know about in D&D &D world. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Oh, I didn't. Where is it Iceland or something? Uh, some places. I think Greenland do it. And um... uh, well, I'm from hot places, so we don't do that. Very fucking hot places. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So you you pour the drinks. He picks it up takes a look at it holds it up to the light there's not much light in here but there's a few candle light a uh, few lamps and candles strewn about the place it's lit up well enough it's the middle of the afternoon the, the window's just about coming through the dust on the windows so he's looking at it gulps it down in one <laughs> how is it smooth <laughs> weak old here freshly mashed <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. If you don't mind, I shan't be partaking in any more of that. All right. My constitution's not the best, but okay. <laughs> I won't make you do the constitution saving no, for you. You've, you've, you've only had the one. If you would have had another one, maybe. Okay. So, so match him drink for drink or not? Okay. He's not drinking anymore either. Exactly. So he looks at you and he goes, so what brings you people to my veritable little home away from home? Do you know what? I'm not entirely sure. We were if, elsewhere and then we were here. If you don't mind me saying, it does look as though you are not of this place. You'd be right. I'm not of this place, but I know You're... this place. You have no idea. You have no <laughs> idea. Seriously, some of the people I hang out with, check these guys out. <laughs> Just a shame you've not got the bloody cat with you. <laughs> yeah, we had to leave him outside. <laughs> Don't even talk to me about the barbarian. He'd have his face <laughs> upside down in a minute. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. These people in their war they are completely destroying a man's livelihood a business i, I use bet. 
I'm a legitimate businessman, and unfortunately I, I am now having to find means of making money that are not so legitimate. Yeah? Like what? Well, you know, a little bit of this. A little bit, bit of that. that, I understand, yeah, I'm totally, totally down. If you, so, yeah. if you want it, I can find it. If you've got it, I can buy it. Obviously, there's a little fee... Yeah, 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 understand, understand. What is it, Devin? Devin? Yeah. Is, was there something that you were looking for, or did you find it? He found it. He found yeah, it. Yeah, found it. Okay, well. He found it. Was, uh, it was underneath the sofa, wasn't it? What we are always is. For. We're yeah. always looking for, you know, gold and ways to find it oh yeah you want gold and ways to find it just join up with the military oh no 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 doesn't suit my uh, lifestyle at all I mean, look at me i'm a man of taste and uh, khaki doesn't suit me yeah no and helmets don't go with, oh. the, with the headgear yeah. at all so you know looking for something a little more Maybe under the table, do you know what I'm saying? Another whiskey? I know what you're saying, know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying, know what I mean. Know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying. I know I've once met a woman who worked under the table. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't an halfling hooker, was she? <laughs> <laughs> no. With no teeth. <laughs> God. <laughs> I think I met her. Well, if you are looking for some work in, shall we say, more profitable areas. Yes, absolutely. <coughs> um, the shadier the better, if, if we're honest about it. But, you know, um, don't I to... may be able to help you out. Is that right? I am a man... Lean a bit closer. I am a man of simple means. So I can see. And, you know, every now and then... Uh, I want to procure something for myself or one of my patrons. Oh, yeah, I know where we're going. Yeah, yeah. You have to stay <coughs> here and watch the uh, tavern and, mm. you know, get some people to help you out. You yeah, know, I think you're right along the along light, right lines here. I can sort you all out with some merchant visas, get you through merchant all that. Visas. Get you through all them checkpoints. Merchants oh. are the only people in the entire north that can go through anywhere and everywhere. The, this is the the strangest situation. I've never been in a in a, a militarized zone. I have to say it's it's most odd. Is nobody free to move anywhere? Only the merchants, I'm afraid, my friend. Only the merchants. Then we shall have to be merchants. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will say, though... Yeah? You don't look much like a merchant. You're right. <laughs> you don't, right. <laughs> Neither do you, my friend. And your friend over there, in the corner, and he points at Tatty... He could be merchandise. He don't mu look much like any creature I've ever met before. You wait till he talks to his head. To your head. I think Talks might, in your head. I think he might be about to. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the cogs going around. <coughs> the, the mouse just popped out of the straw. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds so wrong. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Goodness. I tell you something, he might not look like much of anything <laughs> I've ever seen before. He has his uses, I'll tell you. But I like the way he stows his gems. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what she said. That's what she said. So how about you guys rest up for the evening upstairs? I'll sort you all out with some merchant visas first thing in the morning. We'll get you moving, get you on your road... And, you know, we can discuss terms then, you know, once you're rested in, uh... Oh, yeah? Yeah. You have to... Mm. 
if the mm. terms are beneficial, then, you know, we can probably sort some out on a uh, nice monthly rate for a room here for your sales. Mm. That would suggest that we're going to be hanging around in the area for more than a month. I'm not sure if that's a possibility, my friend. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just somewhere to rest your at when you are in the area. When we are in the area. I understand. Oh, so we paid a monthly rate for not sleeping. It's like insurance, Mm. Devin. It's like insurance. Fuck insurance. And then... (laughs) And then anything... This is tabletop. (laughs) Okay. And then anything you leave here, I can... uh, you, you just here. let me know whether you want it gone or you want it kept. Oh, I understand. You can disappear things. Disappear <laughs> things. He's a, he's a, he's a, gate. a pencil no. right now. Um, <laughs> he's a perimeter wall. No. Um, oh, he's a, a post. Yeah, no. Yes. A, a guard railing. Uh, no. Barrier. Yes. Yes, Tatty. Barista. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's one of them fucking vegans. Oh, God, no, not a vegan. No, he's not a vegan. <laughs> I don't write vegans. I don't know how to write them. Oh, that's the point. He, he, he clearly isn't a vegan because he didn't ask if the whiskey was vegan-friendly. Oh, because he had, he, he, all vegans yeah, yeah. need to announce that they are vegans. All the time. And you didn't see a massive day-glow sign on the door saying vegan-only <laughs> restaurant. Vegan food here, yeah. Halal vegan food. Get your vegan burgers here. Well, if it's oh, not made yeah. out of fucking beef, it's not a fucking burger. Twats. Right, anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, if you guys want to stow yourselves upstairs, I'll sort you all out. And we'll discuss terms in the morning. Well, I thought we could hang out down here for a bit, you know, see if anyone comes in that looks interesting. Help yourselves to my hospitality. The kitchen is just through that door. And he <laughs> points over. Kevin! Yeah. you got your coffee-making facilities. Oh, yeah. In fact... Oh, uh, my friend. I'll get rid of the kitchen door so you guys can sort of <laughs> scramble about a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you walk through walls as well. It's amazing. It's a gift. <laughs> yeah, the kitchen is over there. Make use of anything you can find. Another big fat handshake. Thank you, my friend Crow Scribe Junior. We will. No, thank you, my dark skinned friend. Thank you. You can call me Trouble. Because <laughs> wherever I am, Trouble follows. With a smile like that, I don't doubt it. <laughs> yeah. What are you investigating for, Mr. Clackham? Well, he did say make use of anything we could find. I'm trying to find oh, you. Oh, my God. Is there any bacon? <laughs> Devin, yeah. you open the cooker. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Bag of gold. Babies. <laughs> you find... A Roast l- parsnips covered in honey and a, a bit of parsley. Bloody vegans. You find a nice leg of lamb... Slowly roasting away. You reckon it's got probably about another hour left before it's ready. Just getting to that point where it's starting to slowly fall from the bone. Mm. Oh, stick a knife in it. Moist. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people would probably take it out at this point, but those Cut. those people are wrong. <laughs> you just got to lower the temperature and just let it sit for a while. Mhm. Let it rest, as as Mr. Oliver would say. Let's not talk about Playboy chefs and actually talk about proper chefs, all right? Uh Rick Stein, if you can't have a bottle of wine... Rick Stein, yes. Can't have a bottle of wine before the starter, before the main, and before the dessert, you shouldn't be cooking. No, you want to put put two glasses of, of white... Into this, and then drink a bottle of wine with lamb. You heathen! No, not Can't lamb. Like just just general Stein philosophy <laughs> of cooking. Who's well, that for the, who always had a glass of wine with everything. The old crinkly-looking geezer, Rick Stein. No, <laughs> before him. Anyway. That was Rick Stein before he started drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. I can't remember his name. <laughs> anyway. 
So yeah, um, Devin I, completely ignores the lamb. Slightly off, but I used to enjoy watching Two Fat Ladies. I thought they were brilliant. Mm, and the stuff. And hairy bikers. Mm. There you go. Yeah, but the airy bikers got all preachy after they started to lose weight. It's like, well, this is diet. This is diet. This is, it's I like fucking... their diet cookbook. Shut your face. It's like, <laughs> it's like fucking Oprah doing a fucking cooking program. Mm. This mm. is diet. This is diet. Everybody gets diet. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Go for a walk. I'm sorry. It's not hard. People come in all shapes and sizes. Stop <laughs> shaming them for it. That's what she said. Hey. So yeah, um, but Devon seems as you're not interested in the lamb. You also find a coin purse containing fifty silver pieces. Wow. No, I don't. Yeah. Fuck me, that's twenty-four milligram. Mm -hmm. No. Um. So yeah, silver. I. I. I'm just. You know, boiling some water ready for my brew, grinding the coffee. <coughs> the mention of fields of blood. Mm. Making sounds, a particularly sounds charming. strong grind. Sounds grind? Oh. It sounds charming out there. Why are we stuck in here? <laughs> you have to get you a coffee out Coffee Atronach. and eating meat when we could be out there in the glory of battle <laughs> idiots that doesn't sound like trouble no I was being sarcastic <laughs> good good Only. <laughs> for me that is strong <laughs> so yes um, oh yeah of course you don't have silver do you well 25 gold pieces then oh I see <laughs> you and silver is it is it serious? You and Silver. Miss Devin? Hello? Hello. Oh, yes. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> that video is terrible. How can you sing I that to a bl See it in your neck. How can you sing that oh. to a blind woman? <laughs> oh, no, is it, if you actually watch the video, she's blind. Not for a long, long time. <laughs> But yes, um, <laughs> is anybody else wanting to do anything? I know what Tatty wants to do, and yes. <laughs> Whist? Yes, sorry. Drink food, drink, drink food, chat. Rape, pillage. Huh? I can't see Whist. I'll have some food. Raping and pillaging. Hmm. Oh, um, by the way, in, on the side in the kitchen there are some freshly made cinnamon buns. <laughs> I see. That's I have a, a cinnamon bun. That's a personal preference because I really like cinnamon buns. Cinnamon good. Mate, cinnamon is awesome. I used to have, again, slightly off topic, but I used to have the most amazing cinnamon biscuit e-liquid concentrate in the world and they stopped making it biscuit gutted it was it was gorgeous was it gorgeous it was it was atomy honey and they stopped doing it and it was fucking lush lush this is this hot is this hot? Mm. Is hot she's welsh everybody's using that word it's a gloucester word i always no, use lush well, right, right. Right. Gert, gert lush is a gloucester phrase <laughs> <laughs> yes it is But Lush is Valleys with you. I am not Valleys. <laughs> no, but it's, tra it's, it's spread. Like marmalade. Mm, like marmite. What's wrong with marmite? Nothing's wrong with marmite, but it's spread like marmite. It's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love marmite. So do I. Why? There we go then. We are the marmite clan. Super. Yeah. Marmite so, on, on roast yes, potatoes. Uh, what? <laughs> At this point, sharing recipes, I think. Yeah. Devin's, Devin's making drinking coffee. You know, he's left a pot on the stove, sort of thing. If anyone else wants coffee. Yes. Um, Hold on one minute. Hang on. You're all chuffing away. I've left my vape in the other room. 
But um, yeah, so whatever anyone else is doing, Devin's just doing his meditation, avoiding bloodlust sort of thing. Okay, so Whist is having a cinnamon bun. Trouble is lurking. Um, Tatty is, I assume, just waiting to do what he wants to do later. Which will be described to you all. <laughs> oh dear. So the hours pass. It starts to get dark outside. <coughs> Crow Scribe walks through every now and then. Just to see how you all are. See if he can get you anything. Oh, yeah, we're good. He, so, uh, he tries to sell you all some uh, <laughs> knock-off holy symbols. <laughs> <laughs> of which none of you are having that, I assume. No, no especially not me. <laughs> not me, especially neither. Although if it's knock-off, <laughs> it might be it's good cover. Be... <laughs> you got one of everything. <laughs> <laughs> be, be like the guy in the mummy. <laughs> Can't believe they're remaking that. Fucking waste of space. Remaking the mummy. Yeah. Oh, maybe they get it right this time. Anyway. So yeah, we should we should have a, a conflab about what we're gonna do. Are we gonna are we gonna do whatever this guy pays us to do? I am. I don't know about you lot. I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. There's been a bit of a shift in the party's alignment, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Money, good. Murder, good. I mean, you know, uh, liberation. Coffee. Yeah, you don't, you're talking to the choir here, my old friend. Coffee better. Mm. So, night time comes around. Ah. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> and uh, Crow Scribe offers to take you all upstairs to your rooms. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, are you going to tuck us in? He, I think he just wants to make sure you ain't stealing his candlesticks. <laughs> what? He stole oh. them right and proper from the temple. <clears throat> Can we tell which temple? Does it matter? <laughs> it was just a passing comment. Okay. <laughs> Alright. It might help if I actually had Twitch up. Yeah. So are there regular, like, do we hear regular pounding of patrol groups? Yeah, you hear constant... Outside? Yeah, you, know, you you can never mistake the sound of like twenty or thirty men marching down the street wearing heavy armour. Mm. 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 Well, that's all right. We're merchants. We're artists. I mean, merchants, aren't we? What yeah, are we going to merch? Well, I was Thank thinking you. of starting up this booty clothing brand. So there. 